you're gonna do. You're gonna go out there, right? Talk your and then defend him tomorrow. After their engagement, Carly and Arkansas Mo began to struggle with keeping a stable relationship. Now, Carly learned that Mo had been talking with other women and that he had a kid, which he hid from her. Now, that's one messy story. You ought to see it unfold for yourself. I'm really in my feelings. Phone was connected to it. So I've been seeing all the text message exchanges. I'm home all alone and I'm dealing with it by myself because Mo went out of town to handle business today. And I can't wait for him to walk in this door so I can tell him to get the right back out. About the engagement party. Well, I mean, don't even sweat that. I mean, people are going to be messy. I've been knowing over 20 plus years. Last time I seen her prior to this meeting. So what happened? Uh, trying to get a DNA test, and now Who, what three, is it, a boy, months, girl? It's a boy. And the kid is yours? The whole time she was pregnant, didn't know. And the kid is yours? Trying to get married. All of this part is about talking. You're trying to get married. To be there for with your child. Can you listen for one second? Okay. And then you can talk. You can sure. have the floor. Had another baby on me. This one right here. <laughs> Done slept with the girl. My boy. There's a reason why I didn't come over there. Because he had my homegirl pregnant. Believe you. Right, my thing is you lied about it. But the point is something, The point something is you th lied to about it. The one sleeping with her, I ain't been talking to her, I ain't had no contact with her. But you know all the this only time thing, you didn't It's not me. all this relationship I have done. I have respected you. I have never cheated on you. Two weeks not telling you has killed me. Don't you think that you've stressed me out enough? I sent it to her. Mm. She said, call me. I said, no, text me. So you can see word for word. Not hanging out. You just out, said you communicated not, with a girl. I did, I did and not say. Two weeks. What I said. Okay. And then from there, it hadn't been not one zero conversation. Mm. Period. Mm. But don't worry about it. It's cool. Like, all right. Let's go handle you and your baby. Get the oh, listen, listen, no, just listen. 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 Rich was going to get back at Sin Santana, so he set her up against Erica. Now, he told Sin a secret between him and Erica, and when Sin confronted Erica, their discussion got tense. Now, Sin wanted Erica to understand that she was done being played like a fiddle. You know, I don't know if you can have a conversation right now. I don't know how you feel. That shit, you didn't sign the contract, you don't get the record. I don't think you respect our relationship. Erica chooses to kiss me, to f*** me, about to that. do okay. I'm not talking about that. You're mad, and you know that Erica is not involved with somebody else. If Erica chooses to have relations with me, you, dude, come on, are we really gonna have this conversation? Mad because what? Who's mad? All right, so you happy saying to me and Erica's What do you mean you and Erica's What? You mean what I'm saying? With me and Erica's Huh? I'm getting hot. Yeah, go outside and get some air. He f***ed up once, and I gave her a second chance, so there better be a good explanation for this one. Play this game, mother Really? I need a room. I need a room. First of all, I need a Close the door. Close the door. Let me find out what's going on. Talk to me. I'm talking to you. Hold on. I want to me first. of all. No, talk to me first. So now he sits here and tells me that y'all still doing this, Erica. I'm not. Why? You let him disrespect me. Always. I don't know what the he's talking about right now. No, I'm not doing this, Erica. You're clearly still in love with this If I was in love with him, I would be with him. I can't. You talk about how me and you are here. That's why every time we're at one of your events, he does what he's doing now, disrespecting me. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go out there, right? Talk your and then defend him tomorrow to me. I'll handle that. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that bull I'm not. I'm not doing that, Erica. I'm not. You go out with it. So I'm done. I'm done with this bull I'm done with Rich. I'm not beat for this Carly Red had some news for Rashida, but Rashida thought Carly had prepared something from her pot of stories. Now, regardless, Rashida met with Carly Red, and it appeared that Carly really had some stories to tell her. I how to feel. I know it's my responsibility as her friend to tell her everything I know. Hey. Thank you for, um, like, finally answering my call. I was willing to talk to Carly because I knew she was there the night that this little bitch dropped a bomb. As well. Hear yeah. what you got to say. Because he told me he don't know the girl. It never occurred to me that Carly was going to take it upon herself to go meet up with the chick on some one-on-one. -on -one. She said he met her at a strip club. Fast forward to they had sex. I'm feeling a little like, eh. She's met Carter. She's hung out with Kirk's family. Forward to he moved her in your old building. The deal was her in her apartment and Kirk is holding the baby. Shows me text messages from Kirk. I said, let me see the number. 
She was like, no, he uses a whole nother phone. So I don't even know what to say. Feeling a little sick to my stomach right now. So far and all over the place, it almost seems like a movie to me. Like, is this- For 17 years, right? I know. And yes, you go through but I would not wish no like this on a prize that that bitch, I don't know her. I don't give a about her. We built this whole life together. And my husband and my soulmate. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you would have to be a sick motherfucker to make that up. And I, I would hope to hear that is hurtful as Carly, I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you. You have no paternity test. That's just too much. And I hope that this bitch is on some scam artist. That he will go this far. Throughout the show, it was pretty clear that Stevie J couldn't choose between Mimi Faust and Jocelyn. Now, despite the several attempts to blend them as a family, both women had so much rage in them. So Stevie conjured up a bright idea to bring everybody together. My career is going good, and we talked about being engaged in Puerto Rico. So really now. And I want some of that beef cake, because it's time for celebration. And I'm like, what's up? Why am I here? What we got to talk about? The minute I walked in, I see three champagne glasses and my ring sitting right next to it. Big, big day for me and Jocelyn. We already share a special bond, okay? I want the whole world to know that. And I'm like, Stevie, for real? Here come Molly the maid strolling in, looking stupid like always. I show up, and the first thing I see is Miss Jocelyn standing next to him. I love you, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate the ring, right? Appreciate that. Hi, I mean hey, Jocelyn. Stevie invites me out to talk. I you know what I'm saying? To make music and to take care of my family and my kids. Two things I know I'm, I'm sitting here for on Earth, just so y'all both know. What did you tell me in Puerto Rico? That we were what? Life partners, right? You know, it really kind of like was like, mm, this doesn't make any sense. So beautiful. Congratulations. Why is this happening? Are we engaged? Is that our bond? Do you like it, right? Yes, I like my ring. Back to you. Like some. You know what I'm saying? Small token of my appreciation to you, too. Where you going? She's leaving. Jocelyn. Bitch, you bitch! Let her go, let her go. Let go, baby, let go, baby, you bitch! Chill. Crazy, man. Yeah? I can go. Girl, you got him. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Benzino, Carly Red, and Jocelyn was caught up in this unusual story. So Carly Rae claimed that Benzino was a liar because if he admitted, it would destroy his relationship with Stevie J. But Carly Rae was so positive that Benzino saw Jocelyn's video with her anyway. But nothing compares to the stuff. Zo and I have had our fair share of craziness over the years that Carly Rae's fairy tale brought to the table. Did I watch a tape of Jocelyn Hernandez? What's up with me and you watching a tape of Jocelyn? Since when did we watch a tape of Jocelyn? What y'all don't understand is like, you don't feed into Carly Rae's bull because you'll come out stinking. And you opened up your laptop, and you were like, I want you to see something. In New York, in your hotel room. And it's the first time me and you like really, really hooked up in a minute. Having you can sex. Listen, nothing you can say or do. You even try to take me that day. I you, too, and you, you take me without me my consent. No, at the house. You, you, you try to take me having sex with you, and I was like, don't take me. I have a tape with you having sex with me. Oh my God. That Benzino showed me this video. I don't have to lie about no stupid ass but at the hotel, do you even you. remember what happened at the hotel? I'm trying to lie to cover his ass with Stevie J, cause that's his best friend. You showed it to You're me, lying. you liar, You're and you lying. never said don't call. Let's call her. You are such a liar. Say. Jocelyn was touching her. My God. What? Nasty ass. How Carly wants to get attention from me or to get back at me? Well, she can have that. Never had no problems like that. You and Stevie never had no problems. Not like that. Me and Stevie, okay, got into a big argument over. You've talked about Stevie J to me oh, all the time. Man, it didn't saying. go like that. If you her, I'm gonna ask her. I'm not her, and I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I wouldn't. Leave my name out your mouth, and I'll do the same. How about that? We don't gotta say nothing to each other. 
We tried, it didn't work, and we move on, you know? Brandy had told Max earlier that day that she goes shopping, but it turned out that she was lying. Now, Max heard of a new store opening around the corner, and he went there to see what was up. When he arrived, he saw his woman on the podium giving a speech like the owner of the place. After Brandy realized that she'd been caught, she gave her husband a proposal. Dreams become reality. Appreciate every single one of y'all in this room right now. I don't know what I just walked into. Hey, my, my fine ass husband just walked in. Come inside and she on stage and I'm like, what the f is going on? I always know when she trying to piece up a story on some bullshit. Well. Baby. What's up? I want to talk to you. Babe, what do you think about their store? Like, it's nice, right? Yeah, it's very nice. Better just shoot it straight because I'm really not in the mood for all that right now. You are involved. That is the good news. The money. They just giving us 50% of their because they just like us? I want you to be happy right now. Our store. Excuse me? We own 50% of this store. What? What the f up, dude? Seven. Because this is all for you. And where you get the money? Because. You took my son money. Oh, I know you're not talking for, about my son for, money. For, the, for a branded CD. I know you didn't lie. For branded. Shopping for dresses and you doing in here in the middle of the store. In the middle of the store. The fact that she would go out, invest in a store, and not tell me it's some real foul sh She might have thought she was doing something good for the family. Honestly, can't blame Max for being mad right now. When the fuck I ever told you no? No. When I ever said no? It's not about when that. When the fuck that motherfucking car? Nah, really? You, you want me to go to I jail in Inglewood? No. So get the fuck out of my car. I'm going to pay you all the money. Yeah, I'm, I'm not done talking to you. Nah, no, I'm good. Listen what is she doing? Oh, God. No, no. I know he's upset and I know he wants to leave. I just need him to stay. Oh my God, I don't want this man like this. <laughs> Jock took Kadaya to meet his baby mamas. Now, before they arrived, the ladies seemed to have built a pretty steady relationship between themselves and the man that brought them all together. But Cena has to be with Kadaya, so it immediately went sideways for the ladies. Jock was the most surprised at how quickly it went from zero to what the hell. It is that we all can come together. You know, I think everyone has gotten past their differences. Oh Baby mamas, I mean, mothers of his children, as he likes to call it. How that it's better for us to support each other than to fight each other. Together with Jock and sometimes the kids, and we celebrate our blended family. 14 years later, we have a beautiful, healthy, handsome son. Hey, how about that? After her 14 years and our 15 years. The moments. Yes, it's been a journey. It has been a journey. Mom. Definitely been a journey. Two sets of twins. It's all good. Fatima is the OG. Things between us were tough, but ultimately, we're all strong enough and have babies with a guy who disappointed all of us. This is not a meeting of baby mamas at all. I hate that term. We hate that term. And motherhood. And motherhood. Yes. Who's talked to him tonight? I did, but he's out and about, so Does you he never know. Is he, is he out and about with his sugar yeah. mama? And that is still my husband. Regardless of how long we've been separated, that ass right there still blown to me. Hadn't got around to signing those divorce papers yet, but she is the only one who Jock ended up marrying. These women are fond of each other, but they do not want no parts of KD. She the one that brings all the drama. But I'm trying to make sure everything's right, you know what I'm saying? KD should be here too. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Up, and I see Jock walking in the door, bringing this home wrecker. And hey. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? For months, trying to make a point by bringing me here. Plan on reminding all of these women that Jock is with me now. Me from little Miss Toe Sucker over there. This is very interesting. Me. No, I'll start, start with, with you when I'm ready to start with you. Start with oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. He did come here with good intentions, but I took one look at baby mama number four, and all like an ugly toe. Would have never had him if you were good enough to. Keep him in the first place. Oh, bitch, I'll tear this mother up, you stupid ass. Just for the sake of the kids. And in two seconds, she started to write. Are y'all in this one of me? I do this. Line them mother up. Came in the door with a up attitude. Sure did. That bitch, she with me. Today, we in this because of that. So you don't get mad at the woman, you get mad at him. She's been nothing but trouble ever since the day she broke up my family one of us women and then wonders why nobody likes her. Sit right with me. This is the moment amongst us ladies, us mothers. My number five, is that what it takes to gain exclusive membership to your little club? Problems are brought to my doorstep. I don't have no option. And, I, and I'm saying this 
as a woman, as a mother, with a man that has eight children by four women and who is still legally married. I've been more disappointed in her than I am at this present moment, man. And for 12 years, you know how much I had to deal with. Why did you choose to still deal with this drama? He is a great man, but he has issues when it comes to women. I have ties, and I've invested my energy with my husband. He's your man. Why is he still married to me? Answer that question. I am proud of is that the mothers of my children, they respect each other. This is the problem. Let me defuse the problem. I'm good. Is he making sure they're OK? Come here. No. I just sat here. I will slap the out of you. You want to leave? Go. Goodbye. I didn't come here to get attacked by him or his guard dog. How far you get with, with your baby mama? Shooter came to the parking lot with Kiyomi by his side. Now, Cheyenne also had Scrap DeLeon with her. Now, the plan was to settle the difference between the ladies, but the talks derailed and soon they had to be separated and eventually forced to vacate the parking lot. Nine times out of 10, the other party doesn't leave. For more support than I have, I'll be backing out the door. Set up a meeting with Kiyomi and Shooter face to face, and you know, she wants some answers and she deserves something. You can just, you know, this can be a sit, quick, and we get out of there. Nah, I'm never jealous. It's not yum yum, so. Nah, I ain't. How could I possibly be jealous of a basic nothing ass bitch like she have a weird bang? with a nasty attitude and trying to start me. So, since I ain't get a chance to let you say what you had to say. Hey, you had to go take about your business four, five months. We were communicating. You never said, oh, I'm with this person. Oh, I'm, right. I'm Good words, right? Yep. All right, so what I supposed to do? It's not even about that. I shouldn't have to ask if we sitting up here going to go look at, like, I'm around your kids, really? Come on, man. She around your kids? She been around your kids. Let me, yes let, or no? let, me, let, me, yeah. let me, let me talk. Yes or no? Years, let me talk. not one, but two. OK, I understand okay. that. I'm not asking how many years. OK. Right no, that, no. That, that's nothing. He yeah, probably giving right that to every bitch around. This relationship with Cheyenne was a long time ago. The thing that's got me really hot is the fact that Shooter has this bitch up here saying that she's been around his kids. You got me here arguing with this girl, and she should already know where I we're down. We're here because of you, sweetheart. On, you showed baby. your ass. Yes or no? Listen. Scrap, did we <laughs> Yes or no? Me and that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. OK. You don't want to. OK. You yes. need to be worried about why you said my brother helped me with him. Yeah. Yeah. But I supposed to be in business with you. We know what you so did. So yeah. We know what you did. I do. Obviously, you, you tell me what I do. You crying on you crying yeah. a river so right now. So where we going with this? She cool, whatever I got going on. So what, what we doing? Two bitches. Girl. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Keep on mother talking. And the way she smoked my face over the relationship, like, this. Yeah, All right. I said, bitch, see me. Why don't y'all two go talk? No five months here, me hate player, no distractions, no call, no shit. This like a job, man. Ladies, please use me as a cautionary example. You decide what. Shoot her. Hold up, baby. I'm you wasted my time. I don't want to work no more. Position been filled? Yeah, it been filled. So you, you wasted my time, shoot her, or no? Yes or no? No. Embarrassed, humiliated. Briscoe thought he'd covered his tracks well, but he was exposed on this reunion stage, and it was not a funny sight. Unfortunately, Briscoe was caught in an extramarital relationship while at the same time he tried to build what he had with Cello. Hello to the show. Yeah. How did you end up in jail, and how much time did you serve? I got caught with some felonious money, scams and fraud and stuff like that. Miami, I'm Briscoe. I'm put on this big billboard. I have to make it. Always try to keep myself up in. That's real to admit Damn, that. that is, I was that's, that's super real. at that. Hello. It just, it wasn't him. So I was, I, I didn't know really what was going on. Danger. Um, just being deprived of a woman, a woman's touch. Hello. Do you see a change in him? Yeah, I guess because he had a little weight on him now. He's a little <laughs> bit more calmer. He is as well, so that had to be rough for you. Just those stages and the space they was in. I just felt so, like, I let them down. And what is the status now of your relationship? We working on it. Mm -hmm. We trying to build on it. Who believes his own life. Because I feel like you got something. Yeah, we working on it. Yeah. I'm seeing what he got going on. Period. So should we save it or should we... Yeah, let's save it. We know you're trying to rekindle the flame with Cello, but it appears some sparks were flying with someone else. <laughs> what are you feeling right now, Cello? I feel like I want to slap the oh, f*** out of right. What the f*** is that oh, about? Whoa. Don't f*** play with me. What the f*** is you doing? Bro, grab 
You look real good. Listen, Claudia, Claudia, I need to jump in. Did more than that happen? Of course. Wants to ask some questions. Kendall, you there? Y'all use the protection? Well, I mean... Well. Oh, she coming down. Chameleon will be joining us. Hey. All right, let's welcome Chameleon to the stage, everybody. Hey, boo daddy. Oh! You didn't know about his relationship with Shella? No, I had seen it, and I asked him about it. it wasn't nothing, you know, I'm just there for my kid. Beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? She got his kids, so bitch it off. Listen, I was back here. You revealed something to me back here on the couch, and you was like, I need to get out there. Period, and come on. <gasps> To, to come clean yourself. Is my car service here? Take away about that. Yeah, and he, he did. He, he did downplay y'all's situation. No, pause, you, you left him while he was in jail. Oh, you were dealing. Just to be clear, Tip, you were dealing yeah, with Briscoe as well. Here, that is probably feeling like crap right now. Are you hurt right now to good. hear all this hurt. stuff right now? No. Then I understand. You irresponsible. Shallow, I understand, I understand, Michelle. I understand your frustration. Oh, shut the. Because for you to do something irresponsible, you sound stupid. You understand but listen, my frustration. Listen. You sound stupid. You need to shut you the gonna up. Show up. Play with me. We started the segment off talking about how he wants to get back. I'm In not the even going there. <laughs> His ass the <laughs> got that pink couch. For real, for real. <laughs> and I invested my time in this right. man, and when he do some stupid, <laughs> I've always been there for him. Being there for him. Frisco, any final words in the segment? To Michelle, like Just we gotta get talk. Me. We gotta talk. Billion, we really gotta talk. The thing is about Shello, she's a great person, a genuine person, boss, and she molded me into who I am. No, no, listen. She's definitely mad right now, and we gonna talk about it, because we got to, we, we are really family. Kendall has something to say about the situation. Kendall, what you got? Uh, Shello, 